Hi, I'm Sherry Lemon McCauley coming to you from Lakeway, Texas. I'm a fiber artist, a textile artist. I'm a mother, a wife, a daughter, a sister, a friend, a super volunteer, a programmer. Well, you get where I'm heading. I wear many hats. It's the composite of these experiences that formats my art. I gather my inspiration wherever I am, wherever I travel. This is a public courtyard in Cambridge, Massachusetts that I came upon while I was visiting my daughters. I love the lines of differing widths and colors, simple yet so interesting. I often take photos of the environment I'm in. I like the lines of trees and plants as they appear in nature. Like many of you, I've always loved art. I love the act of creating. I engage in art wherever I go. I sometimes paint in hotel rooms because the paint just calls to me. I often travel with bits of white fabric and paints. I've painted in airports and wine bars. I've been known to seek out art stores wherever I travel. I grew up in Poughkeepsie, New York. I explored art in high school. Yes, I chose art over physics and calculus and still managed to be successful in college. Art is who I am. It has been my world for many years. The inspiration from the environment guides my journey. I learned to sew on my mom's featherweight singer. My mom sewed clothes for our whole family. I got a sewing machine when I was 16. At the time, I was none too thrilled, but I'm really happy for it now. It was not until 1974 that I made my first quilt with scraps of the dresses my mom sewed for me. I wanted to major in art in college, but my parents said for me, art was a hobby, not a profession. So I majored in elementary education with a concentrate in art. By this time, art had integrated my soul. It was what made me whole. As an adult, I attended a host of classes and workshops. My journey continues today as I still love to attend technique workshops. Over time, I've stitched, painted, and worked my way into the art cloth world. At times, it's taken over my home, especially the kitchen. I leave no space untouched. I often begin my work with a white fabric canvas, adding colors with dyes, inks, and paints. I favor an assortment of techniques and materials in my design. My favorite tools include syringes and squirt bottles. I like to combine a variety of tools and materials in each piece I work on. Yes, I am a paint flinger, as is Jackson Pollock, one of my most favorite artists. I identify with the spirit and abandonment in which he flings his paints. His movements included flicking, splattering, and dribbling. I can identify with that. Aging on, 2014, 60 by 24 inches. Each piece I create is intentionally abstract and a bit ambiguous in an effort to challenge the viewer's interpretation. This piece contrasts the colorful years of my daughter's youth with the diminishing color as my parents aged. Painted fabric, shears, and rides applique. Drips, 63 by 52 inches, 2014. My world changed when I completed two and a half year mastery class with Jane Dunawall. The techniques and confidence I gained during this time was life changing. Branches red. This is a first in a series of black painted lines with a touch of color. 2015, 52 by 27 inches. This series is based on colors of the color wheel, hence the name. Hand painted, machine quilted, with a touch of hand embroidery. Branches Orange Detail, 2017. It's second in the series of branches of a color wheel. This series has taken me a multiple number of years and is now complete. Machine quilted with a touch of hand stitching. Teal Circles, 2015, 40 by 40 inches. Color and geometry working together as I step away from the black and white work. This is a combination of paint, monoprints, and rides applique. The blocks were created and then auditioned for placement in the final piece. Triangle, 2016, 40 by 40 inches. 
The combination of different techniques adds to my design, dyed and painted fabrics, overprinted, screen printed with a touch of rage applique. I like to incorporate the surprise of a pop of color. Graffiti, 2014, 42 by 52 inches, two panels. This is one of my earlier pieces. The contrast of bright colors overlaid with black dictated the direction of the design. My mark making was rapid and with little planning on this piece. Frayed Truth, 2017, 43 by 43 inches, an abstract take on the political environment. Multiple panels were hand dyed, stitched together, then overlaid with rage applique and hand stitching. The use of linear elements guides the detail. You might notice a hint of blue. Layers of the Truth, 2016, 56 by 26 inches. This started with a piece of dyed fabric that was too precious to use. I used a die cut and created circles and swirls for the applique. The serendipity guided the direction of the piece. Oh, I promised to share the secrets of my painted thread. It's serendipity. It's the joy of creating without a concrete plan that adds to the delight in my artwork. It's being able to recognize and accept the unknown direction the paints and dyes take me. Being able to embrace the joy and surprise as the paints and dyes hit the canvas drives my work and makes my heart sing. I know I have many paints yet to fling and many yards of fabric to tangle with as I look towards my next discovery. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey.